Good morning guys, I've just arrived at the yard where my Live the Adventure bus is and we're going to be prepping today for Summer in the City which starts this weekend. Here she is, it's been a while, I think Bridget's already here. Yeah, I love it, look at this new hatch, oh my gosh, this is it. Right, we're going in again. Not a lot has changed down here, um, if you've seen the bus before. Um, but we're just going to figure out what we're going to do in different areas for summer in the city. We still need to kind of fully figure out this area, but this is the plan. Instead of having the jacuzzi running, we're going to fill it with balls. Wow, yeah, this works. We've put some netting on the... Uh, on the frame here so people aren't chucking the balls off the top and if you are coming to summer in the city guys don't chuck the balls off the bus because we'll probably get tumbled off <laughs> this is going to be so much fun oh this is this is isn't as good as a hot tub but it's still pretty awesome the other thing is with ball pits you need to make sure you haven't got like your car keys and your phone and stuff in your pocket because they can easily fall out of your pocket and then you lose stuff. So I'm pretty sure at the end of summer in the city, we're gonna have a lot of lost property that we find at the bottom. Okay, this is an idea I've got for the driver's seat. So when you come in the bus, what I'm thinking is, come and sit in the driver's seat, get a photo. We'll probably put like a photo booth thing up here. Yeah, so I think up here. Surprise visitor, it's Laura. Hi. We have, you probably haven't seen Laura in the vlogs for ages, and I'll, sh I'll show you why. I'll show you why you haven't <laughs> seen the vlogs for ages. She's pregnant! Woo! Congratulations! Thank I mean, you. I know, like, I've known for months, but I, know, I yeah. just realised I haven't told you guys, and you probably are missing Laura in the vlogs, but yeah. it's so exciting. A whole oh. new life. A whole new life, yeah. Literally. She's gonna be a girl. Yeah. So, any names that any of you guys can think of? Yeah, suggest some names. Would be great. This is uh, Laura and Jim's dog, Harley. Hey! Hello! I saw him swimming the other day in your oh, Instagram yeah. story. Oh yeah, he loves it so much. Hey! And he's had a haircut. Oh, he's so friendly. When did you get him? December? Mm. So just before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we need your thoughts. We want the bus to be not only just like a fun activity for people to come and just hang out and mess around on, although that's a part of it but also something a bit me more memorable and meaningful. So we're thinking of having a little rotor where we like bring like 30 people on the bus at a time. We're gonna have a little lucky dip game upstairs with the ball pit and a little photo booth at the front. But back here, we're thinking of having more of a discussion area where I, me or Raya can be kind of asking you guys some more important questions about your life and direction and how um, you know, how can we make our lives more adventurous? How can we live, push out of our comfort zones and do more with our lives? So, uh, yeah, so we're thinking, how can we do that in a small slot of like five, 10 minutes? How can we have a meaningful discussion with 12 people? Like, should we try and like have one or two important questions? We go around in a circle and answer them or show you like some inspirational little video for a bit. Like, what do you guys think? What would be in the chaos of like a summer in the city environment, what would be like meaningful and powerful in that time slot we have. So that's what we're thinking about now. That's what we're brainstorming. We have left the yard. I think most things are sorted out for the bus. We've made, a, we just ordered a few things on Amazon. Um, last minute, Amazon Prime. Ah, oh, so helpful. Uh, anyway, so that's all getting sorted. I'm actually heading down to Brighton now. I don't know how much of the next part of my day I can film, but I can at least talk about it. So, for a while now, I've been looking to invest in some property, which is something I should have done a couple of years ago, realistically, but, um, but I think something that's been hindering me, like stopping me doing that, is that I haven't known where I've wanted to live, where I've wanted property. And I've also wanted to do it with people. Um, Dave and Andy, um, who you know, have had a house together probably for 10 years that they um, they got, yeah. Uh, and they've had friends, our friends living in and renting. So all these ideas have been swirling around for a while, but we've, we've finally found somewhere 
down in Brighton, which we've also been talking about making a move as a friendship group. When I am in the UK, having a base down there makes a bit more sense and it's an awesome, awesome town. Um, so, if all goes well tonight, we will be getting a large property which will have multiple uh, spaces to live in and potentially, um, yeah, within the next six to 18 months, because uh, there's currently tenants in those properties. But anyway, point is, collectively, we hopefully will buy uh, this building and over the next few years, it could be a real central point for community when I'm back in the UK. So although me and Rye are looking to move to LA for a, a bit uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm thinking longer term than that, uh, having a base in the UK has always been a dream. So let's see how things go today. Maybe it's perfect, maybe we get it, maybe it isn't, but uh, it's all very exciting. And it's really exciting to do something with my close friends, uh, Andy and Dave. So yeah, this could, be, uh, this could be an exciting pivot in my life. Right, we've arrived. We're gonna have a look around. This is, uh, this is pretty epic. This is the back of the building. A very cool style, uh, spiral staircase leading up to the roof terrace. And then this would be included over here. Maybe to do an extension similar to the other house. We've got planning permission to build on that. It feels a bit intrusive traipsing through people's houses. Yeah, exactly. We're just having a look at all the different apartments. Uh, I love these big living rooms with the tall ceilings. This is very cool. It, that's an extra room that leads to the balcony, which is under this flat's tenancy. And then this is an extra room that's under that flat's tenancy. So it's probably another balcony that belongs to that. So all the living rooms have a kitchen as part of the living room. So I guess it's a dining room, living room. This is the spot. This is the this is the spot, isn't it? Wow, that's a lovely view. Nice double window. Yeah, this top this top get, apartment. Get on top of it all here. Oh, this is lovely. Uh, I'm sure Andy will build some kind of contraption to like kind of uh, do a little pulley line. system for the beers. <laughs> for the beers from the pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll put a little order down, like ding ding. Yeah. Doo, doo, doo. So this. Um, yeah, that's, that's the, the plot, plot, isn't it? Yeah, whammy. Just spotted a little hot tub in the neighbour's garden, which I think we're going to have to do. Those units next door look really nice. Mm. It'd, be, it'd be interesting to see what the uh, construction costs are and something like that. I think it'd be like 150 to 200 and it'd be worth double that. I like the vibes in here. This is the top flat. Uh, Joe the seagull, it's another resident. It is raining now, so we're not going to be, out, be able to be out for long, but we're just checking how far the sea is from here, and it was ju literally just around the corner. And we found this cool park as well. What are you thinking, Dave? I, I probably could have held my breath from the front door to here. Yeah. And probably could hold my breath again from here to the sea. Look at it. <laughs> it's literally right here. What are you thinking about the property? Obviously, there's a lot more to yeah. decide. Yeah, I think basically... But you couldn't get more Brighton. I mean, if you're going to do the Brighton thing, this is Brighton. This is, this is the full on seaside, the views over, or oh, you did the views, didn't you? Mm. The rooftop, and then a park just here. I mean, oh, look at the little trees, little trees. And we were saying it's a good job that the weather's not incredible this evening <laughs> yeah. because otherwise we would be suckered right in. Yeah, beer in my hand, ice cream in that <laughs> signing, hand. Signing away. Yeah, we'll take it. And we asked some good questions as well yeah. around like, <clears throat> It's been on the market a little while. It's kind of a bit big for most like people who would just look to buy a place because it's too many places, and it's not big enough for a big developer. Yeah. And so we were like, "What do you think a sensible offer would be?" And it was a lot lower than I would yeah. have suggested. It so, needs a few things like they need to do a bit of an assessment. What's it called? Like a like a survey, like a structural survey, just, just checking sure it's not, all good. Not buying a, a landslide. But the cool part as well is the garden project where mm. even if we didn't move into the place at all, we could just move straight into the plot with a, with a, with a hut or a little tree house or something. I'll just sleep in the hot tub, bro. <coughs> sleep in, put a hot tub and a hut in. Hammocks. And we're off, we're off. Yeah. Even, if, and still getting the money in. Oh, it could be good. Yeah, I'm, think, I'm feeling positive, guys. Uh, 
watch this space. Obviously, there's a lot more. We need to see if Andy's down and we need to make a lot of other decisions. But this could be, this could be our base next year, bro. Could or, be, or sooner. Could be a good base. We could have a, a good community thing going on here. Put it this way, it doesn't get better than that. So yeah, if we don't like this, good. then basically we don't like the Brighton idea. That's yeah. the bottom line. Yeah. Guys, there's actually people swimming in the sea. I bet it's not even that cold. Okay, it'll be cold for me, but it won't be that cold. It's been on the heating system for like eight weeks now. Yeah. That is it. That is... Central, man. This is basically our back garden now. Not yet. But look at that though. Just, it's so beautiful. It's just so nicely arranged, isn't it? This is it from the back on the back street. Check that bad boy out. It's basically all of this up to that size. One long guy. And then have a little look over here. This would be the garden space, which I'm saying let's keep as a garden for a while. We can do some fun parties. I'm thinking like, like, like late night music events, have a little garden party, have the hot tub. I'm thinking next summer this could be the chill spot. So we managed to meet up with Andy. We've been chatting for a lot of the night about options with the house. So there's no decisions been made yet. We still need to check um, with the mortgage people, see what's possible. Um, I just like getting excited about possibilities. Um, I'm not gonna be like gutted if it doesn't happen, but I just like, yeah, getting excited, imagining the kind of cool stuff we could do together. So um, yeah, it was a good day today. I feel really pumped. I'm also really pumped for summer in the city. Um, I really think you should come guys, I would love to meet you. Um, if you're already coming, then please come over to the bus. I'm gonna try and spend as much time on the bus as possible. Um, there's like a there's like a layout map, which I'll link in the description below so you can find out where the bus is. I think it's just listed as bus, <laughs> but we're gonna be there. You can't miss it basically, it's a double-decker bus, but um, come and hang out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be there whole, the whole weekend, so. Uh, Hopefully see you there. If not, I'm gonna vlog it and you can just experience what it would be like to be there. But um, Also, I'm hoping to do a lot more events with the Double Decker Bus, so uh, I'll link that below as well, like an email if you wanna have it at your event or do something with it. Anyway, I'll catch you in the morning for the setup day. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.